Okay, so in today's video, we're going to continue to tell the story of a perfectly competitive market diagram. And in the last video, we got up till here, where we got our revenue curve set up on our right side diagram, and now it's time to add in our cost curves. So to do that, we're just going to pop in a generic marginal cost curve here, noted as MC, and then also our average cost curve. And the reason I mentioned it in that order is because a very important detail is that the MC curve should go through the minimum point of the ATC curve. And my econ teacher gave me a tip, which is that if you draw the MC curve first, and then always just draw upwards on both sides to get the ATC curve, they will always cross over at the minimum. And apparently IB examiners are quite particular about this detail, so it's a nice trick to make sure you always get it right. So back here, let's think about how to interpret the curves we have already. We already learned that a firm will produce where MC intersects MR, which is also known as the profit maximization point. The price we already have marked down as P1, so let's also mark down the quantity here as Q2. Now quickly pause the video to see if we can remember how to find the profit from this diagram. And you would be correct if you first noted this area down as the revenue, and then marked this part P2, which tells us the average cost at quantity Q2, to then note this area down as the cost, and now that we know both the revenue and the cost, here is our profit. And if you remember what we learned from the rational producer behavior section, this is called economic or abnormal profit, where we are earning beyond covering both our implicit and explicit costs. So what does that mean? That means that right now, this market is very profitable. This is great. We're earning more than normal up to abnormal profit. So what happens now? Well, in econ, we tend to think that if you're making a lot of money selling in this market, other people also want to make money. And recall characteristics three and four of a perfectly competitive market. For one, there's perfect information. People know you're making a lot of money. And the other characteristic, low barriers to entry. It is very easy for someone to start producing whatever you were already producing and also become a supplier in this market. Therefore, based on these characteristics, people will enter the market, meaning in our left side diagram, we now have more suppliers shifting the supply curve to the right. And we will take a small pause here, just so that each video doesn't get too long. And in the meantime, I want you to start thinking about how this change in the market will then impact the individual market on the right side diagram. 